In this video, we're going to use the mesh tool spline effects to create this fully procedural flight path rig. We're going to use null objects to set up the start and end positions of each flight path. Okay, here we are inside of Cinema 4D, and as you can see, we already have our Earth model set up. And what we want to do is start plotting some uh, areas that we want to create our flight paths from. So what we're going to do is going to add a null, and with this null, Let's give it a name. I'm going to start in the UK, so let's put UK on there. And we will go and change it to a locator, and we'll put some uh, color on it so that it's easier to see in the viewport. Right, so we've got our little locator. Let's put this at the UK, and we'll start somewhere around the uh, London area. Let's say we're going to go from here in the UK and we'll fly somewhere over to America. So let's create another one, call this US, and we'll put this one, let's say, down in Florida. Okay, that looks good. Right, so we want to create our flight path from here to here. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to use the Insidium Mesh Tools Spline Effects. So go to the menu, Mesh Tools, and we want Mesh Tools Spline Effects. Now by default this is going to create lightning, and that's not what we want, but we can set it up so it creates a nice little path. So with that selected, we'll go to the Objects tab, and we want to put our start and end objects in these lists. Let's move those up. Right, we're going to start in the UK and we're going to end in the US. And if we go to a top view, you can see it's created that lightning path across there. All right, so let's get rid of the lightning look. And all we need to do is just drop down the amplitude from both of the noises in the motion channel. And then we need to have it avoid our Earth. So in the Avoid tab, we'll drop our Earth model in there. Enable Avoidance. You can see that's created a uh, intersection path there. And then we're going to increase the weight. And you can see that's going to start bringing out our spline. Right, we need to adjust the pinch so that there's no pinch on it. Like that. And you can adjust the height just by the increasing or decreasing the weight. So it's going to be a bit lower than that. Something like that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to change the display slightly. So go to the display tab and turn off the contact points because you don't need to see those. And we'll turn off display gradient just so that it's a single color. Right, so now we can continue on. Let's go back to the objects tab. And let's say we're going to go from the US to... Uh, let's go somewhere in Africa. We'll just put it anywhere. So we'll do that to put a AF. And let's move this one over here. Let's say it's going somewhere down here. Like that. Okay. And then in the mesh tools spline effects, we're going to put our US in the top channel now. And then out Africa in the next in the end channel. So you can see it's created that point back. Okay, and this is how you do it. You just simply need to start building these up. If you want to go again from the UK, you just create another UK. And let's go from the UK, let's go all the way down to Australia. So that Australia, and we'll move this one. Let's come down to here. So it's going to create quite a big arc because it's got a long way to travel. Like that. So then up here, our new UK in the top and Australia in the bottom. And there's our arc. So it's just as simple as that. It's fully procedural. You can move these around if you're not happy with where they are. Just move it because it's a procedural rig. And it will all update as you do it. And then you've got growth options as well, so you can grow those on. 
So that's a quick and simple way to create flight paths using mesh tools spline effects.